Even the Windsors can't keep everything hidden. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 creepy secrets about the royal family. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're only looking at the British royal family. While some of these facts may not be secrets anymore, they were certainly never intended for public consumption. Number 10. The Queen is Above the Law Though barely a day goes by without one of the royals being in the tabloids for something, they've actually gone to great lengths to make sure their darkest secrets stay unknown. The British monarchy is completely exempt from freedom of information laws in the UK. While there was a way to request some documents about the royals in the past, providing they passed a test, since 2010, there have been much stricter measures in place. The official line is that their business should remain confidential, but it's easy to find this lack of transparency unsettling, especially since it conceals any role they may be playing in British politics. Number 9. Princess Anne's Husband Had a Love Child Captain Mark Phillips isn't the only member of the royal household to have had an affair or even fathered an illegitimate child, but more is known than most about Zara Tyndall's half-sister. All the way back in 1984, after Phillips and Princess Anne had already been married for 11 years, he had an affair with a teacher in New Zealand, Heather Tonkins. The scandal is well known now, but it was kept under wraps for a long time. Today, Phillips' secret daughter, Felicity, is married and in 2017, gave birth to a boy. Because Phillips was a commoner, however, New Zealander James Wade has no titles or claim to the throne. Number 8. Cash for Access Scandal but don't try and trick me now because I'm not going to play this game. Delete that bit. In 2010, the News of the World broke the exclusive story that Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, or Fergie as she's nicknamed, had been caught on film selling access to her ex-husband, Prince Andrew. She was trying to get the tidy sum of half a million pounds for this access, and made the mistake of propositioning Maza Mahmood, an undercover reporter. Five hundred thousand uh, pounds when you can to me. Open doors. Though this didn't stay a secret for long and has been a scandal Fergie has never quite lived down, it's clear the last thing she wanted was that the world's newspapers should have access to her instead of Andrew. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm, take five minutes. I'm sorry. No, nothing. I'm just gonna take five minutes. Number 7. Dracula's Descendants Europe's royal families have been interconnected for a long time, and this was never clearer than when it was revealed that Prince Charles was distantly related to Vlad III, better known as Vlad the Impaler or Vlad Dracula. Though Romania has been a republic since 1947, so there's no danger of Charles declaring himself their king, this hasn't stopped the Romanian tourism board from boasting about the royal connection to pull in visitors. In 2017, Charles was even offered the honorary title Prince of Transylvania, because he visits the area so frequently. He even owns homes there. Number 6. Illegitimate Bloodline in 2012, the remains of King Richard III were discovered underneath a car park in Leicester, identified because a DNA test proved that he was related to descendants of the family's female line. But the male line is the one that matters for succession, and DNA investigation here revealed a few problems, including that Richard III's DNA doesn't match the current royal family. The most likely reason why is that at least one affair took place at some point in the last 500 years. But further DNA tests didn't resolve the problem and instead suggested that the entire house of Plantagenet may not have had a claim to the throne. Number 5. The Dunbeth Crash Prince George, Duke of Kent, was the younger brother of Edward VIII and George VI. The details of his personal life weren't something the royals wanted to make public, since he was bisexual and had many indiscriminate affairs, and was also addicted to morphine and cocaine. It was his hedonistic lifestyle that has led some to speculate that his death in a plane crash in 1942 
while he was on a mission for the RAF, was far from accidental. Reportedly, the crash's only survivor has said there was an additional unknown passenger, while others have suggested George was on a secret mission to broker peace with Nazi Germany. The official ruling said there was nothing suspicious about the incident, but that hasn't stopped conspiracy theorists. Number 4. Victoria and Albert were first cousins the royals of Europe have long had a habit of intermarrying, which is why, at one point in time, no one batted an eyelid when things like this happened, even if it did mean haemophilia was spread through the continent's dynasties. Queen Victoria and Prince Albert had the same grandfather. Her mother and his father were siblings and hailed from Germany. They were also only three months apart in age and Albert was encouraged to pursue Victoria by their shared uncle for much of his life. They had a famously happy marriage and had nine children together, but if anything, this just makes the situation even weirder. Number 3. Prince Andrew and Jeffrey Epstein's Friendship But it would be, it would be um, a, a, a considerable stretch to say that he was a very, very close friend, but he had the most extraordinary um, ability to bring um, uh, extraordinary people together. In 2008, financier Jeffrey Epstein was convicted of sex offences involving underage girls. He wasn't in prison for long, but despite his crimes, Prince Andrew maintained a close friendship with him. The true extent of this was only revealed after Epstein's death in 2019 and was a scandal too big for even the royals to weather. Andrew stayed with Epstein in 2010 and was accused of statutory rape by one of Epstein's victims. I went there with the sole purpose of saying to him that because he had been convicted, it was inappropriate for us to be seen together. It's not the only time Prince Andrew has been shown to have ties to unsavoury characters, however. His daughters were reportedly given lavish gifts by Tarek Kaituni, a Libyan gun smuggler. Why would you remember that so specifically? Why would you remember a, a Pizza Express birthday and being at home? Because going to Pizza Express in Woking is an unusual thing for me to do. Number two, the royal curse. Allegedly, a curse was placed on the Queen's ancestors, the Bose Lions, in the 15th century. Legend says an earl in residence at Glam's Castle sold his soul to the devil, bringing a curse down upon them. One victim of the curse may be Thomas Lyne Bowes, the alleged monster of glams. Originally said to have died in infancy, many have speculated that he was actually bricked up and kept hidden in the castle until his death. And glams isn't the only spooky royal residence. Many allege that Buckingham Palace is haunted and that the royals dislike spending time there, though that could be due to the asbestos. Number 1. Edward VIII was a Nazi sympathiser In 1936, King Edward VIII became the first modern monarch to abdicate the throne, which he did so that he could marry American socialite Wallace Simpson. But this was far from the most controversial thing he ever did. He was also known to be a Nazi sympathiser who was pro-appeasement and friends with Hitler. This was especially worrying because, according to some, the Nazis had a plot that if they won the war and took control of Great Britain, they could install Edward VIII on the throne as a Nazi monarch. However, the true extent of Edward's fascist leanings has never been ascertained because of attempts to keep this under wraps. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.